Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. Let us analyze how to find the product when diborane reacts with ammonia. This both diborane and ammonia are hydrides. Diborane is an electron deficient hydride. Ammonia is a electron rich hydride. So whenever they both react, this electron rich hydride, ammonia try to give its electron to electron deficient diborane. Okay, so without memorization, let us see how to find the product of these reactions. So to know this reaction, first you should know that structure of diborane. So see, this is the structure of diborane. To know the structure very clearly, first let us write that valence electrons in B2H6. Boron 3 valence electrons. So here there are 2 boron atoms are there. So 2 into 3, 6. Same way if you see that hydrogen, valence electron only 1. So 6 hydrogen. So 1 into 6, 6. So 6 plus 6 we will get 12. So total 12 valence electrons are present in B2H6. See the structure. There are 4 terminal hydrogen atoms are there. Isn't it? Then like a bridge, you can see 2 other hydrogen atoms also present. So this if you look at the 12 valence, uh, 12 valence electrons, these two electrons will go for making the bond between terminal boron BH bond. So here 2, here 2, 4, then here also 2, 6, 8. So 8 electrons will be utilized for making terminal bonds. So remaining how many electrons we have? We have only 4 electrons only. So that 4 electrons, here it will go for 2 electrons, then here it will go for 2 electrons. Okay. So these 2 electrons will be utilized by 3 atoms. So boron, hydrogen, boron, BHB. So that is why it is called as 3 centered, 3 centered 2 electrons bond. But at the same time, this one terminal BH bond, if you see, 2 centered 2 electron bond only. So this 3 centered 2 electron bond is also called as banana bond or bend bond or bridge bond because of the structure. So when you compare this, the strength, this bond, this bridge bond is weaker, but this terminal bond is stronger. Okay. So now when ammonia comes to react with this one what actually happens this this is a weaker bond isn't it so this weaker bond immediately will break so when it breaks this bh4 minus like because it takes that electron also along with it so this part will go like bh4 minus now this ammonia will add up here see i will show you bh2 so we will get like bh2 then ammonia, how many hydrogen atoms are removed? Two hydrogen atoms are removed. So two ammonia molecules will come to attach here. This part is plus part. Because this boron is electron deficient now. But this part is what? It has taken that electron also along with that. So this now like BH4, BH4 minus. So this is the diammoniate salt okay so this um, this is a intermediate only so immediately after that when we heat this salt it will decompose if you heat it will release that because the terminal hydrogen um, will remove and we will get b3 n3 h6 plus hydrogen will be removed from this. So this is called borosine. This borosine is looking similar like a benzene because of that structure. You know that benzene structure, C, uh, benzene C6H6, isn't it? So we have that H6 instead of the C6 only, B3 and N3, 3, 3, 3 atoms of boron and nitrogen are present. So that is similar like a BH, NH bonds are alternate Alternately present like a benzene, it is called as inorganic benzene. This borosine is also called as 
inorganic benzene so the balanced equation for this uh, reaction is 3b2h6 plus 6nh3 when it reacts it will gives that diammoniate salt which is a intermediate so while heating it gives boracene and hydrogen thanks for watching